Veterinarians actually use this in practice as an alternative treatment for a variety of different cats. They can heal wounds, even for surgery, it can help prevent like overbleeding, excessive bleeding, and it can help cats with sore joints, arthritis, and really it's really great for inflammation as well. So do cats need red light therapy? So there are a couple of cats that would be a good candidate. I mean, I honestly think that every cat would be a good candidate, but the ones that would particularly benefit from it are probably seniors, Maybe they don't do so well with medications. Maybe their organ function isn't quite there. You know, they're a little too old to do certain things. So red light therapy, you know, it's, it's safe and effective and natural. And if it's used properly, there are no side effects. So that's why more and more veterinarians are using it. You know, I'm glad that they're looking into these alternative treatments. Maybe there's also a lot of cat parents that are wondering like, you know, I don't want my cat to be on pills the rest of his life. What else can we do? So I'm, I'm really glad that it's making its way into veterinary practice as well. It might also be good for cats that are sensitive to medications. And like I said, you know, some cat parents, they just don't want their cats to be on pills the rest of their lives. So definitely check with your veterinarian to see if he or she offers it. I've been seeing a lot more that offer either cold laser therapy or red light therapy. I personally use red light therapy. So is red light therapy even good for cats? Well, like I mentioned, it is safe when you use it properly. It's effective and it's great for both acute and chronic issues. So some conditions that it can help, dermatological, oral, musculoskeletal, neurological, abdominal, wounds, post-surgery, as I mentioned before. With acute stuff like fresh wounds and you get red light right on it, it's going to heal much faster. That's how I use it for myself. You know, if we're playing and Jericho scratches me, or if I, you know, bump my ankle on my kick scooter, <laughs> I use that, get it right on it, and it helps with the inflammation. For Jericho, you know, sometimes he scratches his face and cuts himself by accident, so I use it for him for that as well. And it really help, does help heal the wound quickly because it gets right to the cells and starts healing right away. With chronic issues, it is going to take longer because these things took years to to accumulate, you know, so it's, it is going to take longer. Typically with acute stuff, you, you use it daily. With chronic stuff, it's more like two or three times a week. So that's how I'm using it for Jericho as well. So what does red light therapy even do? So the cells in the body absorb the light and this stimulates growth and repair. So that's why if you have something that's fresh, you get it right on there then it's going to speed up that healing because it's a fresh wound and the cells were able to get that growth and repair right away. And light energy is measured by its wavelength in nanometers. So we have red light, which is within the visible spectrum. That's what we can see. And then we have infrared light, which is just outside of the visible spectrum. So we cannot see that. And this is quoted from a study, wavelengths in the range of 390 nanometers to 600 nanometers are used to treat superficial tissue. And longer wavelengths in the range of 600 to 1,100, which penetrate further, are used to treat deeper seated tissues. And visible red light falls around 620 to 780 nanometers. So this red light therapy range would stimulate the more superficial issues that are like right on the top of the skin whereas near infrared light falls around 800 to 2,500 nanometers. And this wavelength can penetrate deeper into the muscles and even into the bones. So is infrared light good for cats? Well, there's a study from the SM Dermatology Journal, which published on near infrared therapy management of feline stomatitis. And this stomatitis means inflammation of the mouth. So they have very severe inflammation in the gums and back in the back of the throat. And currently the only really, the only treatment options really are full mouth extractions, rounds of antibiotics or non-inflammatory steroid use. And sometimes these cats don't even really heal all the way. Sometimes the inflammation does return. So there's not really a cure treatment that's available yet. But in this study, they used near infrared light. They used a veterinary laser for this, and they had two different groups. And they did have the bad teeth removed before they started the red light therapy. And the difference between the groups was the length of the session, so the duration of the dosage, basically. 
And so one group had four seconds and the other group had 10 seconds. And the group that had four seconds had a really, really great recovery. Jericho doesn't like that I'm filming. <laughs> So that's another positive for red light therapy is that less is more. It's very interesting that the group that had four seconds, much fewer, you know, basically half, the other group, 10 seconds, they actually saw really great results. So the red light therapy device that I use is from Novalab. This is the Pro Extra Strength. And this one has 650 and 808 nanometers. So it has within the visible light and it also has near infrared light. So those are the lights that you won't see, but you will see the 650 nanometers. You can go to novalab.com slash jesscatacles. That's N-O-V-A-A-L-A-B.com slash jesscatacles. And you'll get 10% off your first order. So that's my affiliate code. I'll earn a commission on that sale. You get a discount and you get a great product. So it's a win-win-win. And I really like having this at home because it's like a first aid kit that I can just use for myself and for Jericho. And I am using it for Jericho's ear inflammation and gum inflammation. You can check out this video right over Meow to see how we use it. Thanks for watching.